So, so well, I can't see I it. Risk? Josh, why am I at risk? Why do you think he's at risk of having multiple sex partners? <laughs> okay, anybody want to help him with that? Josie. Is there a risk because, like, if you, like, like if it's unprotected or whatever, then <coughs> it, comes from, it comes from one person to, to you, and then you probably give it to the next person, and they probably go back home and have it with somebody else or whatever. And so that's a way that a lot of Y'all are complicated. Y'all are complicated. <laughs> I know I'm Joe, Josh, anybody else can ask? Um, Why would I be at risk with multiple sex partners? Because one of them had AIDS or... Exactly. Stop. If I ask 50 people for $5, if I ask one person for $5, you think I get it? Mm -hmm. Huh? Possibly. Possibility, Maybe. but you think I get it? No. no. If I ask 50, you think I get it? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Multiple. Multiple. If, if I ask 200, you think I get it? You think I get it? Multiple. So the chances increase with the multiple. Exactly. Whereas with one or very few, they're minimal. Okay? So with multiple, with many, my chances just kind of shot out the roof. Just like if I was standing on the corner asking people for a dollar. If I ask 50 people for a dollar, I bet you I get it. But if I just ask one, I probably won't. Mm -hmm. Probably won't. Huh? That's why I'm giving it to you. You get you you already went? Yeah, oh, Okay, I'm sorry, Brent. Read it live. Mutual masturbation. Mm, what is that? <laughs> oh my god, no, he did. Mutual masturbation. So yeah, that's all me, that's all me. Because see what happened <laughs> is, you know. I got, you know, gonorrhea about three years ago, and so I got cured, so I said I ain't messing around no more, so all we do is mutually masturbate me and my partner. That's all we do. Is that a risk? No. Uh, Why? I'm not what? Touching. I am touching. We, we mutually masturbate. They touch me, and I'm touching them. Oh. I'm touching them on their, I'm touching them on their genital area, and they're touching me on mine. So is that a risk? Why? No, no. Would you make up your mind, Mr. Counselor? I mean, you for counselor. No. You're supposed to be helping. You say yes and you say no. What is the answer? Possibly. <sighs> <sighs> Why possibly? Because it depends on uh, what you're touching and with. If you're using like a mouth or something. My hand. We use our hand. Okay. Okay. Except for what Keith said earlier. If you have what, Keith? If you have a what also, you talk open. open wound. What if I have a cut? What if I have HIV and I have a cut because I was cutting some onions or tomatoes yesterday. It's a big old cut on my hand and I'm putting my hand on somebody's vagina. Oh my you, God. You see what I'm saying? The possibility is there. Of course, there probably would have to be blood. There'd have to be blood, okay? But that possibility would exist if there was a cut. But I'm just trying to give you the possibilities and the risks. And so what I would want you to say is the possibility, you know, doesn't exist if there's no exchange of body fluid. That's why I keep pointing to the sign. Because it has to be a transfer or an exchange of body fluid from one person to another. And in many cases, that might not exist. Um, what if the female...